James, Viscount Severn is the youngest of the Queen's grandsons and has spent most of his living out of the spotlight. On Saturday night, though, he showed maturity beyond his 14 years as he stood somberly behind his grandmother's casket at Westminster Hall. The younger son of the Earl and Countess of Wessex bravely joined his older sister Lady Louise Windsor, 18, and his cousins Prince William and Prince Harry for a poignant and moving vigil around the late monarch's coffin. Along with Peter Phillips, Zara Tyndall, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, James walked in formation into Westminster Hall and stood at the side of his grandmother's coffin. He bowed his head as he positioned himself in between Peter and Eugenie while tearful mourners, who had waited in a long queue, came to pay their respects. His parents watched on during the vigil with mum Sophie becoming tearful as she proudly watched both of her children carry out the emotional vigil. Queen Elizabeth's grandchildren arrived in Westminster just before 6 p.m., where they held a first-of-its-kind vigil to pay their respects to the late monarch. As members of the public filed past Her Majesty's casket to pay their respects, the 14-year-old was seen with his head bowed, as he looked towards the ground during the vigil, which lasted around 10 minutes. Throughout the ceremony, the Queen's youngest grandson remained composed, showing a maturity far beyond his years. For James, the public display of mourning is particularly significant because Edward and Sophie opted not to give their children prince and princess titles at birth and have largely kept them out of the royal spotlight. The grandchildren, at the king's invitation, are very keen to pay their respects, a royal source says about James's decision to publicly honor his late grandmother alongside his cousins inside the historic hall. The display and then James' sandy blonde hair easily made royal watchers spot the similarity between him and 15-year-old Prince William at Princess Diana's funeral. The prince famously walks behind the coffin of his mother Princess of Wales on September 9, 1997, at the age of 15. One tweeted, Young James Viscount Severn looks so much like Prince William when he was of a similar age and having to go through so much pain publicly, such a brave young man hashtag respect. Another posted, is it me, or does James, Viscount Severn look like a young Prince William here? Reminiscent of Diana's funeral, walking behind the coffin. A third added, James Viscount Severn looks so much like, William, Edward, Phil, Harry, even the Queen. My eyes were glued to him that whole time. At 14 to do that so stoically, fair play. Prince William previously reflected on how difficult it had been for him to repeat the walk he took as a 15-year-old during the ceremonial procession behind the Queen's coffin on Wednesday while speaking to mourners gathered outside Sandringham House on Thursday. During the procession, Queen Elizabeth was accompanied by her four children, King Charles III, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward, as well as several of her grandchildren, including Peter, William, and Harry, who walked side by side. He said how difficult it was yesterday and how it reminded him of his mum's funeral, mourner Jane Wells told The Telegraph, adding that Catherine had also said, it's just been such a difficult time for all of them, for the whole family. The procession was then followed by a service commemorating the Queen that was held at Westminster Hall. James, Prince William, and their other cousins were in attendance at the event. It was possible to see Princess Eugenie dabbing away tears as she posed with members of her family in one of the photographs. Jack Brooksbank, her husband, accompanied her at the event. Additionally present were Beatrice's husband, Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi, as well as Zara's husband, Mike Tyndall. Over the last few months, James has made several high-profile appearances such as at the Commonwealth Games and the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. He was born in December 2007 at Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey, close to his parents' home of Bagshot Park. His full name is James Alexander Philip Theo, with the middle name Philip clearly a nod to his late grandfather Prince Philip. Proud Dad Edward described his newborn son as very cute and very cuddly, and at the time of his birth, he was eighth in line to the throne, although he has now slipped to 14th. When his parents Edward and Sophie married at St. George's Chapel in Windsor in 1999, they were granted the titles Earl and Countess of Wessex. And at the time, Buckingham Palace also announced that any of their future children would not be styled as prince or princess. This means that James and his older sister Louise are titled as children of an earl and don't use the HRH style. 
James title is Viscount Severn, one of his dad Edward's subsidiary titles. James mother has previously explained the reasons why she and Edward decided to not give their children royal titles at birth, which they were entitled to as grandchildren of the Queen. We try to bring them up with the understanding they are very likely to have to work for a living, the Countess told the Times. Hence we made the decision not to use HRH titles. Despite this, both James and his sister Louise can choose to use the titles when they turn 18, according to the 1917 letters patent issued by King George V. Their mother, however, told the Times that this is highly unlikely. At 14 years old, James is firmly still in school, with him believed to be educated close to the family home. Both James and sister Louise have often been described as among the Queen's favorite grandchildren, and shared a close relationship with her. Each summer, they would spend quality time with their grandmother on her Balmoral estate, where James is said to be rather good at flipping burgers during family barbecues. And during his moving tribute to his mother, James' dad Edward touched on the teenager's shared loves and passions with the Queen and the late Philip. He said, The Queen's passing has left an unimaginable void in all our lives. Sophie and I have taken huge pleasure in seeing our James and Louise enjoying the places and activities that their grandparents loved so much. Given that my mama let us spend so much time with her, I think she also rather enjoyed watching those passions blossom. Those times together, those happy memories, have now become massively precious to each and every one of us. Meanwhile, one of James' major interests was once revealed by the Queen herself several years ago as she talked proudly about the youngster. During a ceremony in Windsor Castle in 2017, she was introduced to an eight-year-old boy, who was around the same age as James at the time. She told him, My grandson is nine and he does nothing else but tries to drive a car, mostly mine. 